My name is Mark Rainey, and I am the owner of Grody Brothers Bicycle Restoration here in Topeka, Kansas. We've been doing custom powder coating of bicycles for the last 15 years. I was a slow learner on bikes. Didn't learn how to ride a bike until I was in the third grade, partly because the street we lived on prior was very busy, no sidewalks. Got a bike and uh, finally figured out how to make it go straight but I couldn't turn around. So I'd ride one end of the street, stop the bike, get off, turn the bike around, climb back on and pedal back towards home. First new bike was a Western Flyer. It had the dual headlight and the tank on the bike. It was bright red and uh, it was my pride and joy until I left it out in the rain and the batteries got wet and ruined the tank. I've, I've always been a guy who was working two jobs. I had to have my day job and then a side job somewhere just to help support the family. And I saw a Help Wanted sign at a local bike shop and went in, talked to the owner a little bit, and uh, next thing I knew I was selling bikes at a Trek store. They worked with used bikes as well. They took used bikes in trade. Some of them weren't worth keeping, so those he would put in the dumpster in the back. Well, every once in a while there was one I'd find and bring home and fix it up. At one point, the family business was a steel fabrication shop that had a powder coating line. I went and got one of them sandblasted, took it in, got it powder coated black, and made it into a fixie, which were kind of all the rage at the time, and uh, it got a lot of attention. Next thing I know, I'm getting people asking me to do their bikes. Gradually, people, you know, around town started bringing stuff. The next thing you know, St. Louis, and kind of blew our mind that people had found us and wanted us to do the same thing. There were shops that did nothing but powder coat bikes, but they didn't do anything to the bike. If you sent it in with a head badge on it, they powder coated over the head badge. If you sent it in with the bottom bracket cups or whatever in it, they, they did nothing more than powder coat. I'd been doing some mechanic work at the bike shop. My brother worked there also. That's where, like, you know, we could, we could improve on this. So this guy's making money at this. We can, we can do better. We do get a lot of sentimental bikes, and uh, they want to uh, preserve it for their grandkids. You get a lot of bikes that uh, this was my dad's when he was a kid, or this was my bike that I rode all through college. Uh, this was my brother's bike, and he passed away. Just a lot of different attachments. The feedback we get from people is tremendous. It's, it's very gratifying to hear from them. A recent bike, a fellow said, it's too pretty to ride now. It was his daily rider, and now he's afraid to ride it because it looks so great. I had one guy come to the shop, pick it up, and he goes, you must get an awful lot of satisfaction out of doing this. And I, it, that caught me. It's like, well, yeah, I, I do get personal satisfaction out of taking something that was uh, less than stellar and, and turning it into something. From the very beginning, our slogan was, make your dream bike. A lot of us, you know, you, you go to a bike shop or you find one online and that's the bike you get. But it's not quite what you want. If you could do your own bike, what would you do? The uh, rock hopper we've been working on here today, prime example, the guy's had it forever, 1987. But he doesn't like the yellow anymore. Now it's gonna be a metallic purple. And he picked the colors. He had the decals custom made. I think we just give people an opportunity to do those things, to, to step in. Part of our motto too is, you know, we do as much or as little as you want. So for those do-it-yourselfers, you know, if you only want us to do a certain thing, we will. The services we offer start with media blasting, stripping the old paint and rust from your frames, uh, powder coating obviously, and we do pride ourselves on our two and three color work, uh, decal application. We build wheels, rebuilding hubs, coaster brakes and the two speeds, dent repair in frames. If it's a steel frame, brazing frame alterations or modifications. If you want to do a resto mod, you want to reroute your cabling to complete, here it is, turnkey. Take it apart, put it back together. 
powder coating is a process that's been around for quite a while and actually has been used quite a lot in the bicycle industry. It's a dry process. I like to uh, compare it to the copier that you use in the office. Powder itself is vinyl. Uh, it can hold a static charge. If you're talking about a copier, when you scan something or send an image to a copier, you're putting an electric charge into that paper. The toner in the copier is attracted to that charge and then the heat of the drum fuses it to the paper. Powder coating is very similar to that. We put a negative charge to the frame. The powder is being charged positively. The two static cling to each other as it uh, passes by and then we bake it to fuse it. I think the powder coating industry has come a long, long way from just being an industrial coating for truck bumpers and lawn furniture. We have, over the past 15 years, evolved our techniques to improve. The ways I powder coat a bike now are far different in some areas than we did 10 years ago or even five years ago because we constantly want that better product for the customer. It is a little thicker than regular paint and you are limited in the colors. There's only about 10,000 of them as opposed to paint where you can mix a color specifically can't do that in powder, so you've got to be uh, open to accepting the colors available. And we want people to be picky. It is their bike. We want them to be happy with it. We don't want them to accept something that they didn't want. Powder coating, from an industrial perspective, is you're, you're looking at a part, let's say a, a rack or for a, a shelving unit, and it's going through a a process where there might be a dozen powder coating guns running just on it and it just, it's not following the curves or anything else it's just going through a room full of fog hoping that enough powder sticks where it needs to so you know it, it's a coating but for us um, the media blasting the hand sanding the washing it down with solvents the torching the uh, phosphatizing we're going to great hands-on each bike treating it like it's our own process. I don't want anything going out he of here that I wouldn't want for myself. To do it right, we don't just slap things together. Being meticulous about it, uh, keeping track of things, record keeping, uh, probably stems from the earlier years where we just really were doing it by guess and by golly. And found that, you know, if you only had one bike in the shop or two bikes in the shop, it was pretty easy to keep track of things. But uh, any given day, I probably have 15 bikes now in, the, in the, some portion of the process. So uh, when it comes in, documenting it, getting before photos, decal placements, just what's there. Laying out the decals, laying out the hub parts, uh, just making sure that everything's there and uh, in that moment, focusing on, okay, here's what I've got. All right, how am I going to attack this? And then, you know, just being able to uh, make things go off without a hitch. It's, it's just a far better deal than to kind of throw it together and hope you got it right. We're for anybody and everybody. And it's not just road bikes, it's not mountain bikes. I do BMX, I do kids bikes. I will very reluctantly do a tricycle. I get in brand new bicycles that people just, they love the bike, they hate the color. And then we get, of course, the very old bikes that were very sentimental. And one of my favorite reactions from customers, we did one uh, at one point, it'd been a guy's bike and he had a brother who had had polio and couldn't ride. But he had the use of his hands and most of his body. And he and his brother, he'd ride his brother on the handlebars and take him all over the county on these country roads. And he just had such fond memories of being with his brother and doing things with his brother. And after we restored the bike and he came to pick it up and he was a much older guy and he's like, I'm so happy if I could jump, I would. <laughs> I, just, I just thought that was hilarious. Quite, quite a sentiment. Mm -hmm.